Welcome to Sentence Stocking, where we'll take a look at one mentor sentence with five focus questions that go along with the sentence. You can answer the questions in a couple of different ways. You could write them down on paper and pencil, think through the answers in your head, or talk out the answers with a friend or family member. Today's mentor text is Walk Two Moons by Sharon Creech. And the mentor sentence for today is, most girls wore their hair in exactly the same way, in a shoulder length bob, that's what they called it, with long bangs that they repeatedly shook out of their eyes. The focus questions for today, number one, what are the adjectives in this sentence and what nouns do they describe? So thinking about our different parts of speech, we're looking through to identify the adjectives and thinking about what nouns the adjectives are describing. Number two, what is the punctuation after way called? So take a look at that punctuation. What is it called? And then also, what is its purpose? Number three, what is the punctuation after shoulder called? So looking at that punctuation in between shoulder length, what is that punctuation called and what is its purpose? And number four, what is the punctuation around Bob called and what is its purpose? And then number five, what is the punctuation that's around the phrase, that's what they called it called and what is its purpose? So we're really looking at those different types of punctuation that we're seeing in this sentence. There's a large variety. So identifying them and also thinking about what function are they serving in the sentence? So this is the time in the video where you should pause and be thinking about writing down or talking through these five focus questions. When you're ready, press play and rejoin me to debrief the sentence and questions. Question number one, what are the adjectives in this sentence and what nouns do they describe? So we are going to go into our reference sheet and take a look at parts of speech for adjective. An adjective is a word that modifies or describes a noun or pronoun. An adjective usually answers the questions, which one, what kind, or how many. Looking at the examples, running shoes, cloudy sky. So running and cloudy are the adjectives describing shoes and sky. So we are going to now go back into the mentor sentence and take a look at the adjectives. So in this case, most is an adjective that describes the noun girls, most girls. And then shoulder length is an adjective that describes the noun Bob. Also, long is an adjective that describes the noun bangs. Now we're going to be taking a look at the punctuation after way. So coming up here, these two dots. What is it called and what is its purpose? So we are once again going to go back into our reference sheet and I'm going to find the reference sheet for punctuation. And let's take a look at the colon. So that is the punctuation that we see there. And the purpose, there's two different possible purposes to introduce a list or to give further information about a topic. So let's take a look and see what we think. So the punctuation after way is called a colon. In this sentence, the purpose of the colon is to give further information about a topic. The author stated that most girls wore their hair in exactly the same way, and then went on to describe what their hair looked like after the colon, giving the details about the shoulder length bob. Question number three, what is the punctuation after shoulder called and what is its purpose? So there's this little, piece of punctuation in between shoulder length. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the definition for hyphen. So I always have a, you know, I think students get the hyphen and the dash confused. In this case, it is a hyphen and it's to join two or more words together into one word. So in this case, we have shoulder length. The punctuation after shoulder is called a hyphen. The purpose of a hyphen is to join together two or more words to make one new meaning. In this case, the author forms the hyphenated word shoulder length to describe the length of the girl's hair. What is the punctuation after Bob called and what is its purpose or around Bob? 
So we see that there are quotation marks around Bob. We know it's not because they're speaking them aloud in dialogue. So the punctuation marks are called quotation marks. They are there to indicate what the word the girls use to refer to their hairstyle, a bob. You can almost see the hair, the air quotes as you're saying a bob. Um, but it's just showing us that that is what they say their hairstyle is called. And then question number five, what is the punctuation around that's what they called it called and what is its purpose? So we're looking at parentheses here. So the punctuation marks after the phrase that's what they called it are called parentheses. The reason the author used parentheses in this sentence was to clarify or explain to the reader that the word Bob was what the girls called their hairstyle. So if an author puts something in parentheses, it's almost like a little aside. Um, it's kind of an informal way to write. So if Sharon Creech wanted to give the reader just a little bit of kind of inside information about that. So wow, this sentence contains a lot of different types of punctuation. So let's take a look at question number five. And that is share one thing you noticed about the sentence that wasn't asked about in the focus questions. So maybe there was something about the sentence that wasn't part of the focus questions that were asked. What's one more thing that you noticed about it? And then this would be the time to pause the extension menu and pick an extension option. Think that choosing the create a sentence extension option would be really good for this sentence because they, the author Sharon Creech incorporated so many different types of punctuation. It would be cool to write a sentence incorporating some of those same types. Thank you so much for joining today's Sentence Stocking, and we'll see you next time.